Hi Virgo, welcome to the Prism Portal Tarot. I'm Kat, your reader. This is going to be a reading uh, from spirit, messages from spirit, from the universe. Uh, I, I, I did a meditation on your cards uh, and, and the energy of Virgo before we began. Uh, and I'm really excited to see what comes out here. Thank you so much for all of your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I'm just truly so grateful for you all. Um, I really appreciate the subscribes. Um, I will be coming out with weekly videos. Um, make sure to check out your monthly video I did on November and also uh, your love reading, which was from last week. They should be in the playlist below. So thank you so much. This is going to be uh, the Spirit Song Tarot deck, uh, the Dream Keepers Tarot, and we will be ending the reading with a or an oracle card from the uh, Wild and Sacred Feminine to sort of tie all these energies together. So I would love, love, love to hear from you, Virgo, in the comments to know how these energies are affecting you. Uh, let's let's get a, a few cards here for my beautiful Virgos. Do we have a message from Spirit here for Virgo? I want to know where my energy is at for the Virgo Collective. Where's the energy at? I have some thoughts. I have some thoughts, but I want to see what the cards say first. Let's so get one more. Ooh. Okay. Take the bottom part. Okay. So. Let's go through these. It looks like the first card that wanted to come out for you was the star, which is gorgeous. That's Aquarian energy. It looks like you might be in a place of feeling peace. You've been healing a lot. You might just be at peace with feeling um, like you did the right thing. And sometimes the right thing is the hard thing. <laughs> uh, so you might be coming off of, you know, um, healing some stuff that has been really, really hard for you. And so you might be in a place of peace with just knowing like, you know, I'm in a place of feeling better, of healing myself, of self-care, and hoping and wishing and dreaming again because maybe it's been a little while and you're at peace with those decisions um, that got you here. Because the thing is, Virgo, you're everything to everyone, right? You're, you're used to being of service. That's sort of what you do and you can lose yourself. You can lose yourself when you are being everything to everybody else and nothing to yourself. So that's your current energy and it looks like the universe here wants you to sort of take a look at the eight of crystals and the moon and also the five of feathers. Now, so the crystals in this deck represent pentacles. So this is your earth energy. So here you are showing up. Dedication, progress, the buffalo, beautiful, beautiful energy. We've got the moon uh, coming in. So uh, inspiration, perception, uh, your watery, watery feminine energies. Um, that this is uh, Piscean energy, which is your counterpart, Virgo and Pisces. Might wanna look at the Pisces reading. Uh, there could be messages for you in there. Um, and then we've also got the five of feathers. Uh, so feathers in this deck represent swords. So your air energy. So it looks like you're currently in a place of healing something. Um, and you're feeling all right about it. You're feeling okay about it. You know, your healing is not linear and it's not, it's not like, oh, don't worry. I healed that. I'm never going to feel that way again. It's especially when we're talking about things like grief and loss. And God knows there's been so much of that in the past few years. Um, even just grieving the loss of an identity of that you once held of yourself, a belief that you once held. Um, you know, that's still grief. And, and, and so it doesn't, healing isn't just like, oh, healing waters and healing, here we are. And it's just, oh, I've got the cucumbers on my, my eyes and here we are, we're at the spa. It's like healing can be messy. Healing is heaving in your bedroom, sobbing at three o'clock in the morning, you know. Um, it can be that too. And, and there's no right or wrong way to heal as long as you're not hurting anybody, most of all yourself. So as long as you're, you're using the, the higher expressions of healing, I say heal however you need to, Virgo. And that may be by setting boundaries, you know? Mm -hmm. That may be by setting some boundaries. 
the eight of crystals uh, represents, you know, we've got earth energy here. So this is, this is Virgo, this is Capricorn, this is Taurian. Uh, you work hard. You work really, really hard for what you've got. And it's not easy, but you make it look easy. And so this is the, the this message here, this this the, this middle part of the reading. Um, this is like a new perspective, a perspective that perhaps you haven't thought of yet uh, or acknowledged yet that the universe is trying to get you to to see. And I think that what the universe is trying to tell you here, what spirit is trying to tell you, is that you have been making progress, progress. You have, you have been making so much progress. And even though it feels sometimes like, oh my God, like when is this gonna get better? When am I gonna feel better? The universe is trying to tell you, darling, you're doing it right. There's no wrong way to do this. You are doing it right. And look at how much you have accomplished. I think that it's really easy for Virgos to get down on themselves because they're such hard workers and they make it look so easy. You do. You make it look easy. Um, you you put other <laughs> signs to shame just in terms of your work ethic. Um, I've never met a Virgo that doesn't work their ass off, usually to the point where it's like, okay, well, <laughs> might be time for a nervous breakdown um, because you pull other people's weight. And I think what the universe is trying to tell you here with this moon card um, and perhaps embodying that more the energy of your counterpart sign Pisces is it might be time to kind of just take a little bit of a pause to turn inward here and tune into perhaps some more feminine energy. Um, now that, that doesn't mean female. We all have masculine energy. We all have feminine energy, uh, gender non-specific, um, embracing the great mother. Uh, I don't mean your literal mother, although absolutely can, you know, maybe it's time to give mom a call um, <laughs> if she's still with us. Um, but it might be uh, also that it's, that it's letting the universe, the great mother universe, Gaia, the great goddess, letting her embrace you a little bit. Embrace yourself, but letting her embrace you and take care of you and nurture you a little bit because you do so much for everybody else. So taking that pause, owls might might have a, a particular meaning to you uh, in, in your life. Um, the energy of the owl is very, it is, it's very perceptive. They are hunters, but they also are incredibly smart, smart, smart animals. Um, and they're beautiful, regal animals, just as the buffalo. So it's almost as if the universe is saying, Darling, <laughs> you, the work is done. It's okay to sort of sit back a little bit and see what comes next here. It's okay to not know. I mean, of course, Virgo always has a plan. <laughs> Virgo, you invented plans, okay? And then you planned for those plans to have plans. Um, you are a, a definitely a sign of planning. And it's very against your nature to not have some kind of to-do list to not have some kind of like all right I've got to knock this off and I gotta have to do I have to do this and blah 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 and because so and so didn't do that I'm gonna do that for them it's okay to just kind of hit the brakes a little and go you know what I've done enough for today I can rest now I've done enough for the week I can rest now you're going through these cycles of sort of like even even in regards to your healing, you're like, okay, so I'm going to write down the to-do list of like, okay, so I did this healing modality today and I did this, but I still need to do this. And it's like, it's sort of almost like letting go of the wheel a little bit because uh, what, what the universe wants you to take action on here, the five of swords or the five of feathers, um, now is a time for strategy. That's sort of what I'm getting from this moon energy here is you're so used to charging ahead and just go, 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 do, I'm doing it. I'll take care of it. Oh, they're lagging behind. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to do their stuff too, because like, ah, uh, we got, we got to keep going. We just got to keep going over here. It's having the boundaries to know what someone else's work is. And it can be literal work. 
like actual little literal work at work where you're doing other people's jobs for them because you're picking up the slack because they just can't keep up. Stop doing that. See what happens. It'll be real interesting. It's amazing what happens when we just do what our actual jobs are and stop doing perhaps what other people's jobs are or picking up, uh, picking up the slack, so to speak. And that could even be with like your own boss um, or even within your own family, you know, like if you're used to like, you know, um, doing all the dishes all the time and, and, and nobody else does them or, you know, you've asked a million times for your spouse or your kids or your roommate to be like, hey, can you like help me with this? Cause like, this is getting really old <laughs> or I, you know, I don't want to be spending an hour every night, you know, cleaning up the kitchen um, and cooking on top of that. And, you know, X, Y, Z. It's interesting what happens when you let go of the wheel and see what happens when you're not filling in the gaps for everybody else. What happens in your life? Do people get angry at you? Do they yell at you? Do they say you're being lazy and you're like, no, I'm literally just doing your job and my job. So um, maybe you should do your job <laughs> or maybe you need to have a conversation with the people in your life about picking up their own slack and saying, you know what? I can't, just because I can do this and I'm really good at it doesn't mean I should or I should have to. Can we talk about it? I need help. I need support. You know, it's a time of sort of like standing back a little bit and just sort of seeing what happens when you take care of yourself, when you assert these boundaries and be very, very, very mindful of the people in your life that when you put those boundaries up, when they react adversely, you're being selfish, Virgo. Oh, I am? Pretty sure I'm the most generous person on the planet and you have pushed me to my limit in a way that now I am so burnt out, I can't even see straight, and I need a break. Four of Cups, Nine of Swords, Ooh, Seven of Swords, Six of Wands, Nine of Wands. Now, I would like to point out that we only have one, or we have two major arcana on the deck the star and the moon, which what do you think of? Just in, even if you have no knowledge of the tarot, um, which of course you do because you're watching a tarot video, <laughs> but even if you, if, even if you don't, if you don't understand, um, it takes a long time to understand the, you know, the archetypal energies associated with these cards. Um, but when you just say moon or star, what do you think of? You think of dreams, you think of wishes, you think of whimsy. You think of the possibilities. You think of looking up at the night sky and seeing the northern lights and seeing the stars and seeing shooting stars and taking a moment to acknowledge the beauty in your life. You have been feeling like you have been fighting a battle. You're coming from a dark place, but you're healing it or you've healed it. But healing, again, it's, it's not linear. So it isn't like, all right, well, I figured that out and now I'm done for it forever. It may come up again. You may be finding that you're cycling through old stuff right now where you're like, oh my God, that happened like 20 years ago. Why is this feeling fresh again for me? Or why am I back here? Why am I repeating this cycle, this pattern that I thought I was done with? What's happening? And that's, you know, that's life. That happens. It's going to come back, but you're more resilient this time. But taking the time to acknowledge that, that you've been fighting this war. Look at this woman. Nine of Wands. She's got sort of like slices taken out of her. People have been taking things from you for far too long, Virgo. And you're at the point now where I think that you're, you're realizing how spread thin you are and how much you actually do for others. And you're starting to see that there are people in your life that take from you, but they don't give, okay? 
So I don't think it's an accident that we've got the six of wands here, which is, a, you know, it's a card of victory. It's sort of, you know, you've got the the Rider Waite tarot interpretation of this, the traditional tarot is the, you know, he's riding a horse and he's kind of, he's kind of like flying a flag and he's like, do -do -do, look at how important I am. That's not Virgo. Um, <laughs> Virgo's like, I put my head down, I do the work and I get no thanks for it. It's okay to get some thanks for it. And it's okay to be like, you know what? Um, I know that a lot of the work that I do as a Virgo is thankless work. A lot of it is thankless because, again, you pick up the slack for so many other people in your life that you're used to almost, I think people just take it for granted. And you're reaching a point now or you've already reached a point where you're sort of like, you know what? <laughs> no, <laughs> it doesn't have to be like this. You're, the seven of swords is this energy of, I mean, if you look at her, she's wearing, she's wearing a mask, right? She's wearing a mask and there's a sneakiness aspect to this. Sort of like I'm taking my toys and I'm going home or I'm stealing these swords and <laughs> you're going to deal with it. <laughs> Don't steal. Stealing is wrong. But that's what they've been doing to you, Virgo. People have been stealing your energy, your time taking away from the bandwidth that you have for yourself, for your family, for your loved ones, the people in your life that actually matter. And it's got you feeling sort of like just completely unsatisfied and confused because you've told yourself for so long that, oh, I have to do this. I must do this. I must extend myself to the point where I'm spread so thin that I'm sleeping for three hours a night I'm doubling up on this stuff. Uh, uh, people in my life are pulling on me from every which direction. And I've got nothing for myself at the end of the day. Full stop, Virgo. I want you to start doing this week, this week, today, this very moment when you turn this tarot video off. I want you to start doing the bare minimum because bare minimum to Virgo is still well above and beyond what everybody else does. And see what happens for a week. Do the stuff that you need to do. Go punch your card and do the work and do this and, you know, pick up the kids from school. Do, do whatever it is. Do your responsibilities. But just do the stuff that you have to do. And don't think your way into, oh, but I really should and I, I should have to. And this person's going to be mad if I don't do this. And if I don't do that, then no. See what happens and see how the people in your life react. The people that uh, take to it kindly and go, wow, I'm really glad you're taking some time for yourself, Virgo. Or wow, you're, you're asserting a boundary and that takes guts and it's not easy to do that for you. Bravo. Those, those people are keepers, right? The people in your life that push back and start saying, well, mm, no, actually, Virgo, you have to do this and why aren't you doing that? Just take note. You know what to do. I don't mean necessarily cut them out, but just take note of it because you might need to talk to them about what's expected of you, what you expect of them, and what what you actually want out of this situation. You know, I'm not saying that there's times where we don't work hard, but Virgo, all you do is work hard all day, every day. It's okay to take a little bit of time and claim back some of your some of your time and create some boundaries, crone, wisdom. Yeah. You might um, you might look to your elders, you know, right now. And if you don't have elders that you look up to or mentors in your life, um, there are uh, this the, the crone wisdom makes me think of uh, uh, Krista Christina Pincola Estes, uh, women who run with wolves. Uh, it's a beautiful book, um, and man or woman, please read it. It's it's a beautiful, beautiful book um, that might help you ta tap into this wild energy of choosing yourself and getting a little bit more in tune with the rhythms of what you want, what you need, and how to get it. Wow, what an incredible reading.
Thank you so much, Virgo. Thank you for liking, for sharing, for subscribing. Please let me know in the comments how this is working out for you. If this resonates with you, I would love to hear from you. It helps me tune into your energy and read sharper for this collective of Virgo. Uh, I have a special place in my heart for Virgo. My husband is a Virgo and he's the most amazing man um, for me and uh, I love him very much. And so I, I love you, Virgo. I love you, I love you, I love you. Um, Thank you, and I will see you the next time. Make sure to check out your monthlies and your love readings. They should be in the playlist below. Thank you. Bye.